The car has been with us for over 100 years now, and in all that time it's been evolving really rather nicely. But let's be honest, it's never really changed. Until now. This is the General Motors High Wire. Now, it still looks pretty much like a car. It's got wheels and windows and what have you, but it represents a complete revolution in the way a car works. Everything that makes the High Wire go, stop and steer is contained in an 11 inch deep chassis underneath here somewhere. Now, there's no engine or drivetrain. All that's gone. There's no gearbox to worry about. There's no fascia, no pedals. There are no mechanical linkages between the driver and the driving. It's all replaced with this. It's a computer cable. And this isn't science fiction. I'm going to drive it. Being British, you'll notice that I've gone into the wrong side of the car. But actually, it isn't a problem. There are no pedals to worry about. so. There you go. Now this means I could drive down to Dover and onto the ferry in a right-hand drive car, drive off the other end in Calais in a left-hand drive car. Right, let's see if we can make this thing go. So, power, select drive on a button there, twist to accelerate, squeeze them, and we brake. That's fantastic. Oh, this is weird. It's very, very airy, and there's a big flat floor. And look at the size of that window up the front. Sort of like driving a patio. This doesn't feel entirely natural, to be honest. It's very logical, but it's not really second nature, because I've spent more than 20 years driving a normal car. But I bet if you're part of the PlayStation generation, you'll be able to drive this thing straight away, on level 10, probably. Rear view mirror. Bit 20th century, so we'll have a TV screen here on the steering thingy. And uh, as for door mirrors, we'll have TVs there as well. Now look, I'm sorry if I'm not talking in a very normal voice, but I am concentrating very, very hard here. There's only one of these in the world, and it's worth about five million quid. Right, let's have the top off this thing, and then we can see how it works. That's easy. With no mechanical linkages to worry about, it's a simple matter of undoing a load of bolts and whipping out the computer cable. Here is an electric motor which drives the wheels. This is the fuel tank full of hydrogen and this is the fuel cell. Now in this, hydrogen from the tank there combines with oxygen in the air in a complex and frankly rather boring way to produce electricity. But the important thing is that there are no batteries to recharge anywhere on this. This has its own onboard power station and it generates so much electricity that I could actually run my house off it. In fact, I could run half my street off it. But the real stroke of genius is combining hydrogen power with bi-wire controls because here's something you can't do with your car. This is essentially a family saloon, but what if you wanted a pickup for the weekend, or a people carrier, or even a two-seater convertible sports car? Well, change it. Go down your dealer, get him to unbolt this body, and plug a new one in. I mean, it's only gonna take half an hour. Even better, why not get him to bring one round? And here's a thought. The high wire is made by General Motors, and they own Vauxhall. Do you know what this is? It's the new Vectra. I mean, not the next one, and probably not the one after that. But one day... Now, if we forget all the Tomorrow's World techie wire change the body stuff, the most important thing about this is that hydrogen power station, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. That is supposedly, it really is supposed to be the fuel of the future. They say, you know, anywhere between 10 and 20 years time they could do this. 10 or 20 years, yep. we'll That's be driving right. a car and you basically, you get hydrogen from water, well, seawater. Well, from salt water, yeah, you make it from salt water. And then all you get out the exhaust is? Water. That's astonishing. So this is the future. I mean, Should remember be. where you are right now, because that is the car of the future. 